This is the Pixel Pen. It is a 3D positionally tracked pointing device slash controller used as another alternative for computer input. It is entirely 3D printed and there is a single push button right in the front, along with a power toggle switch near the cube in the back. The device is completely wireless through Bluetooth and is powered by two AA batteries which can be changed by removing the tip of the pen. It's currently being held by Velcro and some tape for stability, but hey, it's just a prototype. The primary form of tracking is done by these tracking markers on the cube part of the pen. A webcam can be placed in a few different locations based on the application to track the pen using these markers. Now onto the software side. Connecting the pen using Bluetooth is pretty simple. First you just turn on the pen using the little switch on the side. And then you go ahead and search for control panel in the start menu. You'll then go to hardware and sound, devices and printers, and then eventually click add a device. It should appear as the pixel pen right here. And the passcode is by default 2468. Go ahead and install itself. So one thing to keep note of is to right click the pixel pen when it's connected and go to hardware. You should see the standard serial port right here. You should note the COM port right here is the number three. This will be useful later. So this is the software that I've developed here. It includes two programs right here, camera calibration and the Pen Connect software. Pen Connect is essentially just a little program that takes the information from the webcam and the Bluetooth from the pen and send it to the applications that are developed with it. The camera calibration is used for when you use a new or different webcam um, to get rid of the distortion of that webcam to allow for better tracking. You simply just run through some of um, the steps that you need to, such as holding up a checkerboard pattern up to the webcam, and eventually it'll give you some numbers that you can put in this configuration file. That would be the camera matrix numbers and distance coefficients. These are all calculated using the camera calibration software, and it'll use those values to adjust from, for the webcam distortion. Once the camera is all calibrated, we can go ahead and run the Pen Connect software here. So here it is. You need to select a webcam to use. So by default, you should really only have one webcam installed, um, and that would be camera zero. But if you have uh, multiple webcams, like an integrated one on a laptop, you might have to choose the second or the third option here. But I just have one webcam, so I'll just select zero here. And then the COM port is what we saw in the control panel, so that was number three. Uh, so we'll go ahead and select that, and then we can just go ahead and click Start. It'll now say that it started, and we have a couple options, such as showing the camera and quitting the application. So, showing the camera is pretty simple, it just shows the webcam. And here you can see the uh, tracking um, from the cube at the top. And you can see up here that it says press Q to close this window, so we'll go ahead and press Q to close that. And now it's running, so you should be able to run any application that's developed specifically for the, pe uh, the Pixel Pen, and it should work. So as a small demo here, I have a simple application which can show you placing objects where the pen tip is located. So you can see the webcam in the bottom right, um, and I can go ahead and click the button on the device, and it will go ahead and place these little uh, prisms places and as I move the pen around you'll see it's being tracked. Um, the better the lighting in the room the better the tracking is. It's uh, not that great right now but if I had some better lighting it would do a little bit of a better job and I can press spacebar here to get a bit of better view of where the tip of the pen is located so I can place objects a little bit better um, like that. So I can go ahead and take a look at what I've placed and move around using the pen just like that. Now I haven't developed any uh, more applications for this yet, I plan on doing that, but um, this is just kind of a proof of concept to show what you can do with it. So I guess we can dive a little bit deeper into uh, how the electronics work inside the, inside the pen itself. Two AA batteries uh, provide three volts, and that needs to be stepped up to five volts using this little uh, step up converter right here and then that gets sent uh, through the switch and then eventually to the Arduino Nano where 
the application is running. And then the Arduino collects data from the button as well as potentially in the future an IMU with a gyroscope and accelerometer, which uh, has not Im been implemented yet. The Arduino then takes all this information and then sends it over to the Bluetooth module and then eventually that sends it to the application, uh, the Pen Connect software. So I guess we can go ahead and take a quick look at the code that makes up the Pen Connect software. So there are 300 lines here, or 303 lines of code, pretty much entirely done by me. It, was, it wasn't originally meant to be a GUI application, but it ended up being like that because I quickly learned how to do that. So uh, these, this, most of this right here uh, is for the GUI, such as all the buttons. You can see it, that the text here where it says start and it's running and some of the default values for the COM ports and the camera selection menus are here. This is where the configuration file is read and where the values are extracted and uh, placed into variables where, the, where they will be eventually used later. We have some stuff that will go ahead and set up the camera uh, around here, as well as set up a, a web socket, which is what is used to send data from the pen connect to an application. It uses essentially what is uh, usually used for multiplayer or web related communication to just send it to a local application because because it's just easier actually to do it that way. Here in the process function, we just have um, where the actual data is sent over the web socket to the application. So it sends over its position and its rotation as well as the state of what whether the button is being pressed or not. Um, this pseudo random uh, quaternion averaging uh, sounds really cool, but um, it's a it's a way to average out uh, different rotation values. So to ensure a bit more of a stable tracking, the webcam doesn't just take values from the markers and just send it right to the software or the application. It takes those values and compares it and averages that out with past values to make the overall movement smoother. And it's um, it goes back around five measurements and not just averages them, but um, it's more of a weighted average. But to do that, you need to average out rotation values, which is a bit strange to do with um, quaternions, which is what's used to represent rotation. So I have this kind of pseudo random thing where we're, ta we're, we're averaging like two values at a time and then kind of averaging the whole thing. And it's not quite an exact average, but it's close enough to basically emulate the same thing. Here was going to be the IMU processing, the inertial movement unit, which would um, take accelerometer and gyroscope data, but was not implemented yet. But right now, this is what takes the uh, state of the button press from the Bluetooth of the pen, and then sends that whether it's pressed or it's released. Here in the camera process, this is where um, most of the program really uh, is working here, where it gets the information from the camera, converts it to grayscale for easier processing, and then detects these Aruco markers, which is what the markers are called with the uh, kind of checkerboard-like pattern to them. Most of this right here is adjusting for the different angles that the markers are placed at. You know, some, uh, well, all of them are at 90 degree angles to each other and we just have to adjust for that by adding adding rotation values and adjusting for uh, the translational offset from each other. Here we draw the actual axis in the pen connect software. When you click show camera it shows that little nice axis. This is where it's being drawn. And this is where the averages are being taken to help smooth out the movement. And so that's pretty much it. It, it seems like a lot and it is a lot, it took a long time, but um, there's definitely a lot more that could be done uh, to improve to improve it, but I've definitely learned a lot of how about how to program a lot of these things, and it's been quite interesting, I gotta say. But that's pretty much the entirety of the Pixel Pen as of now, I guess. All that's left to do is to just develop more software for it, and some more demos, uh, which I plan to do soon over this long break we have to uh, 
create more stuff for it and see what happens. So that's pretty much it.